All right, today I'm going to be doing a trick with trig. You know, because sometimes the unit circle, there's just a lot of information on it, and sometimes see it, students see it all at once, and they're just flabbergasted. They're just like, I don't know what to do. You know, there's just so much to memorize. I'm going to show you a trick so you don't have to memorize the unit circle. You have to get the, the gist of it, but you don't have to like memorize it. Instead, you're gonna be using your calculator. So if you would, do these, do these trigonometric functions. This is sine of 30 degrees, cosine of 30 degrees, tan of 30 degrees. This is sine of 60 degrees, cosine of 60 degrees, tan of 60 degrees, and then this is sine of 45 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees, and tan of 45 degrees. So try those, pause the video, and see if you can do them on your own. All right, now, use your calculator, and then type in sine of 30 degrees. and what you should have gotten is 0 0.5. So that is 0 0.5 cosine 30 degrees, cosine 30 degrees. It's approximately 0 0.866, 0 0.866, and then tan of 30 degrees is approximately 0 0.577. Now, what is sine of 60 degrees? So you do that, 60, sine, yeah, 0 0.866. And then cosine of 60 degrees, cosine of 60 degrees, 0 0.5. And what is tan of 60 degrees? 1.732. And then sine of 45 degrees, 5 sine. I get approximately 0 0.70, well, 0 0.707. And then cosine of 45 degrees, yeah, it's going to be the same, 0 0.70. And then tan of 45 degrees, tan of 45 degrees, 1. So, now you might be asked to find the exact form. So in that case, you have like, you know, square root of one, well, not square root of one, one over two, right? One over two, or square root of two over two, or square root of three over two, and then you have what you might see in the tangents, you might see in the tangents uh, 1 over square root of 3, and that is the same when you multiply the top and the bottom by square root of 3, you get square root of 3 over 3, you might see that, or you might just simply see square root of 3. So, what are these? What's one half? Type in your calculator, you're gonna get 0 0.5. What's square root of two over two? It's approximately 0 0.70. And what is square root of three over two? That is approximately 0 
six. Any of those numbers look familiar? And the answer should be yes. Now let's do a little substitution. 0 0.5 is what? 1 half. So sine of 30, 30 degrees would be 1 half. Now 0 0.66, what's that? You look over here, square root of 3 over 2. So replace that ugly thing with the exact solution. Now this, 0 0.577, is this. Notice that this is less than 1. This is larger than 1. So this is going to be square root of 3. Right here. 0 0.577, that's going to be square root of 3 over 3. Or 1 over square root of 3. Now just substitute the rest, right? 0 0.5 is 1 half. 0 0.866 is square root of 3 over 2. 0 0.70, which one is that? Right, it's square root of 2 over 2. So you substitute that with square root of 2 over 2. If you could see it from that far, you might need to pause it and just write it down. Now cosine of 45 degrees it's going to be the same. So that's square root of 2 over 2. And notice tangent is just sine over cosine. So you have square root of 2 over 2 over square root of 2 over 2, which gives you 1. And that's how the tangent occurs. Now these, the, uh, the inverse, the reciprocal functions, I should say, you know, uh, cosecant is just 2, you just flip it. Secant, again, you just flip it. So it's 2 over square root of 3. Cotangent of 30, 30 degrees, you just flip it. So that would actually be square root of 3. Same thing with the other guys. So, and this pattern repeats throughout the unit circle. So if you see in your calculator some funny number like 0 0.6, 0 0.866, then that's just square root of 3 over 2. And these numbers repeat throughout. So you don't have to memorize it. You just have to remember, oh, yeah. And not only that, notice, what's square root of 1? One? 1. Square root of 2? Square root of 3. So you have a pattern. One, two, three. Not only that, look at the order of these. They're in orders as you see it. So 0 0.5, 0 0.707, and then 0 0.866. And you're going to see that on the circle. That's in the same order. One, two, three. That's it. And that's my little uh, trig trick for the circle.